a cozy corner for the outdoor space. If you want to see what I managed to put together, keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women how to make wise home health and beauty decisions so there's less chaos in their homes, they lead healthier lives, and they feel beautiful from the inside out. And today, I am participating in a challenge hosted by Arlen at Arlen's Cozy Craft Corner. And she issued the challenge for us to put together a cozy corner for our outdoor space. And we needed to include a bow, either a crate or ladder or table or something like that, and a plaque. So let me show you what I managed to put together. But before we get into that, if you're new to my channel and you want to learn more about cooking and cleaning and laundry and planning and health and beauty, I encourage you to subscribe because I make videos about those topics all the time. But definitely check out the show notes and the links in the description box below because I will put links to my favorite gardening and cleaning solutions there. Some of them are affiliate links, but they help support the channel. So thank you very much if you click on them. All right, so let's jump into my cozy corner. For those of you that follow me, you know that one of my favorite places to be is right here on my front porch. I like to sit in this chair and just look out at the world, talk on my phone, look at my tablet, whatever. But this is a nice corner to sit in. So I thought that I would just switch out a few things to make it fit the spirit of the challenge. So let's take a look at what I did. Here is my cozy corner newly outfitted to fit the spirit of the challenge. So one of the things that I did was I found this sweet little plaque at the Salvation Army and it says, Welcome Friends. And one of the things that you see on the plaque is fishing paraphernalia. My husband's a huge fisherman and I go with him from time to time. So fishing is something that is important in our home. So I thought this was a perfect, perfect plaque to welcome friends to our home. And of course, here's my little rocker, which I sit in all the time. And then over here is my birdhouse, which is not new, but I did move the birds that were sitting there and I swapped out this little begonia, which is a nice little shade beauty. And then I've got this little stone here that says joy. Now the other thing we were supposed to include in the challenge was a bow. So I put a bow on this hat. So these are two sun hats and we will wear them fishing and if I'm working out in the garden sometimes I might put one on. So there's my bow and then here is my crate. I brought out this crate and set this oregano plant on it and one of the things that I can do is when I'm sitting here in the chair I can smell the aroma of or the fragrance of the oregano and it smells so good and then below the crate I've got a little red ladder that I picked up at the Salvation Army for $2.99 and then another little begonia and then over here I've got a little red crate that I picked up at the Salvation Army for $1.99 and then on top of it I just said another little sweet little planter of petunias and begonias and then of course there's my sun hat so here's my cozy corner and i've got all the elements i'm supposed to have a plaque a bow and a crate so now here's my question for you what part of this cozy corner for the outdoor space do you find most interesting? Tell me about it in the comments section below. And just so you know, I've raised three children, I've managed a home for more than 45 years, and I am a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking and cleaning and laundry, planning and health and beauty, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I think I'm going to just sit here for just a little bit and just enjoy the view.
one of the things in my view is a huge black and yellow bumblebee that's on one of those pinches. This particular arrangement that I have out here really attracts the pollinators and the hummingbirds. What I was hoping to see was the hummingbird. What I'm looking at right now is a big black and yellow bee. But typically, as long as I don't bother it, it doesn't bother me. I'll link Arlen's channel and the challenge playlist below. You will love the things that Arlen does on her channel. She has so many beautiful, cozy creations. So please check her out and then show the people that participated in the challenge some love. Do go through the playlist and make comments on their videos and subscribe. And if you're not already a member of the TNT community, then subscribe.